Hola. Hello guys, welcome, good to see you. Hello everybody. Hello George. Hello, Hello teacher. Hello Gustavo. Hello. Hello. Hello guys, good to see you. Hello Janira. Hello. Hello guys. Hello, welcome back. Good to see you. Let's get started with the class. And uh, as usually, right, we start with uh, what we remember from the last class. So uh, what do you remember for uh, the last class, George? Tell me. What topic? What about topics? The, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. How about the adjectives? Okay, the adjectives, right? The what, adjectives. what is the one you feel most identified? Pretty, handsome, mm -hmm. good looking, sulky, friendly, yeah. kind, funny. Funny. Yes, right? Bye. Mm -hmm. Short. Short, we have short to write. Okay, thank you, George. Uh, Guadalupe, what else can we add to the topics that we worked yesterday? ¿Qué temas? What else, Guadalupe, did we learn yesterday? Your microphone, eh, Guadalupe? Tiene llamada. Ah, okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, Ellen Nilsson, please tell us. <laughs> what did you learn yesterday? <laughs> what topics did we learn yesterday, Ellen Nilsson? Eh, lo que es eh, la personalidad. Como, pero yes, no personality, sé. right? Personality. Y... Mm -hmm. Correct. An appearance, right? Correct. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you, Ellen Nilsson. Okay, guys, let's move on to the topics that we are going to be discussing this day. Uh, we are going to have uh, some vocabulary review about the clothes, the colors, and some descriptions. So before starting, I will ask you, you to work in pairs, and uh, you are going to respond this section. First, you are going to complete uh, these questions with your information. And then you're going to ask your classmate. You're going to write, to write the answer in this part. Okay, so uh, what are we going to do, eh, Gabriela? ¿Qué vamos a hacer, Gabriela? What are we going to do? Mm -hmm. Primero, first. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? What are we going to do, Gabriela? Vamos a responder, da. I think it's... Mm -hmm. How old are you? Mm -hmm. uh, information about me. Yes. And the second one about my partner. Exactly right. So, primero vamos a responder uh, the questions with your information. Y luego usted, eh, you're going to ask the question to your partners. Okay, les voy a dar unos minutos para que puedan completar this part. And uh, then you are going to be working with your partners. Okay, let's analyze the questions. Let me know if you have, for example, carefree. What is carefree? Do you know the meaning of carefree? It's, una persona, it's a person that uh, doesn't care about other things. It's una persona despreocupada, right? Carefree. And uh, outgoing, it's uh, that person that when we say I'm a person extrovertida. Okay, so let's answer this right with your own information. We have the other word, homebody, a person that likes to stay at home. Okay, I'm gonna give you some minutes for you to complete this section. And then you are going to ask the questions to your partner. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes, Ivania. The answer is only close answer or not? So the, dep that depends. That depends of the question, right? So, depending on the pregunta. For example, how old are you? You can write, okay, 26. Mm -hmm. And for example, in this one, are you carefree or nervous? I am a carefree person. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Just write the word right. Only the word, it's okay. 
Okay, thank you. Okay. Miss, what the meaning careful in Spanish? Okay, carefree. Carefree is it is like despreocupado, a person that I don't care anything, right? La persona despreocupada. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Where is the meaning? Uh, Out. Alert. Alert. I'm sorry? The, the four, the person that the question. Are oh, you four. An, an athlete? An, an athlete. Athlete yeah. or a non athlete, una persona que es atleta, right? Or ah, okay. you don't do any sport, right? Any exercise. Okay. Thank you. Okay. What do you mean? Outgoing. Outgoing, it's a person, uh, it is extrovertido, extrovertida. Outgoing. Okay, let me know if uh, you are ready, guys. So you're going to be discussing the questions in pairs. Okay, did you finish? Uh, the Nilsson, did you finish? Yeah. Or, yes, uh, the Nilsson, or no yet? Okay. No teacher. Not yet. No. No Not ready teacher. Okay, ready, Carlos. Okay, we're gonna uh, give just uh, some minutes, right? Recordemos. Okay, vamos a trabajar luego en los breakout rooms, and you are going to ask the question to your partners. Luego ustedes me van a decir qué es lo que ellos les han dicho, right? You're going to tell me what they say. Okay, por ejemplo, si estamos hablando de la edad, uh, podemos utilizar phrases like uh, my partner, partner says he is, y empezamos a describir, right, 34 years old, old uh, he is from a uh, Chalchuapa, and uh, he likes to do uh, different activities and so on. But vamos a start describiendo what the, the information, right, from your partners. Okay, so uh, let's go over the breakout rooms, right? Let's work there. And uh, then you're gonna tell me what your partners tell you. If you don't have the questions, don't worry. I'm going to be sharing this in the, in the WhatsApp group right just in case you you don't have them okay let's go to the breakout rooms and uh Hello, Ruth. Okay. Okay, Lorena, hello.
Hello, guys. Questions about the activity? Did you finish? Glenda, Ellen Nilsson? Or how is everything going? Tell me. Hello, can you hear me? Hi, Miss. Mm -hmm. este... ¿Cómo vamos? Mm -hmm. What do you do? ¿Qué quiere decir? ¿Qué es lo que haces? What do you do? Pero, pero ¿cómo? ¿Qué Puede hace? ser como uh, I am a lawyer, for example. I am a graphic designer. Ah, I am a student. Yes, yes, yes. It can be. Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, then your hobbies, right? ¿Qué es lo que le gusta hacer? What are your hobbies? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, any uh, question? No more? Or we are okay? Mm -hmm. No, Ella Nilsson? No, okay. Okay, Ella Nilsson, perfect, thank you. <laughs> There's O. Hello, uh -oh. Gabriela, Lorena, questions? Hello. 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 Questions or are we okay? Are we okay? Okay, so just yeah. remember, you're going to present your classmates information, right? I example, she is, she works, and, uh, and so on, right? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, teacher. What are your hobbies? Oh, Janira, the Nixon questions, or are we okay? Your hobbies, baby. Only a question. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, when the letter three, mm -hmm. what do you do is uh, re, uh, about my... It can be your job, for oh. example. It can be your job, for example. Okay. What do you do? I am a lawyer, I am a teacher, I am I work a for Taco Trans. I work for Taco Trans, yes. Oh, okay. I am working, yes. It's okay. Exactly. Okay. Just uh, remember that you're going to present the information from your partner, right? For yes. example, you're going to say Janina's information. She is 25 years old. She is from Santa Ana. She mm -hmm. is, so you are going to introduce all the information. Okay? Yes. And vice well, versa, right? We got it. Okay, yes. perfect. Thank you. Nervios. Hello, Ruth. Uh, George, Hello. questions? Do you have yes. questions? Eh, la primera parte. <laughs> ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Cómo vamos? Okay. Do you have questions? Uh, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. eh, how old are you, George? Uh, my partner say uh, uh, I am I am forty eight years old. Okay, okay, okay. Re remember, eh, recordemos, remember this, that for example, en el caso de Ruth, ¿verdad? Que va a presentar uh -huh. su información sería, eh, George is 30 years old. He is from Santa Ana. He is a graphic designer, digamos. Entonces vamos a describir, vamos a utilizar uh -huh. eh, he or she, eh, ah, ah, ok. Este, uh -huh. va, eh, yo le pregunto a él. Ya tenemos la información de George, right? Sí. Ya, entonces, con esa información usted va a presentar en la clase. Ah, Por okay. ejemplo, Jorge is, digamos, Jorge is eh, for... 40 or 30, no, I don't know, 30 years old. Ya, ya contestamos la primera pregunta, right? Nos vamos a la segunda. He is, ¿de dónde es él? He is from... Digamos Santa Ana, Santa Ana. Luego usted le preguntó, what do you do? ¿Qué es lo que haces? George, Jorge, eh, is a graphic designer or an engineer. Eh, I am a student and working. Ok, pero en el caso de que estemos hablando de George, ¿de qué yes. es? 
What, what does he do? ¿Qué es lo que él hace? What does he do, eh, Ruth? Eh, recibir clases en horas de trabajo. Okay, he is a student. Digamos, he is a uh -huh. student, right? So, what, what are your hobbies? ¿Qué le respondió George? What are your hobbies? Eh, ¿Cuáles son los hobbies? I am... Uh, I am a student. Ok, en el caso de George, eh, ¿cuáles son los... los... Esos eh, serían este... sus hobbies, ¿verdad, Ruth? Ajá, eh, sí. Y en el caso de George, ¿cuáles serían? ¿Cuál sería la información, eh, George? What are your hobbies? Uh, I am play... Uh -huh. I like play basketball. Okay, uh, he likes to play to basketball. Uh, the... mm -hmm. Basketball. Ah, los hobbies. Uh, los hobbies, exacto, lo que a él uh, le gusta hacer. Okay. Y ahí respondemos las cuatro okay. preguntas. Okay. En la siguiente de las personality, usted le va a ya, le ya tiene la información. Are you a carefree or nervous? Y él, no sé si le respondió. Are you a no, okay. aún no lo hemos hecho. Aún no. Ok. Entonces, cuando vayamos allá a la clase, usted va a presentar la información de George, right? Lo mismo va a ser George con la información de Ruth. Ok. Ok. So, okay. Yes. if you have questions, if not, I let you work. I let you finish. Ok. Ok. Perfect. Yes, because so do you remember my question uh, when you your uh, hobbies? Yes, my hobby is yes practically my because you oh, are athletic. Obvious, obvious, I athletic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Continue, yeah. guys. Continue. It was good. Okay, very good, guys. <laughs> Teacher. Yeah. Do you have I questions? Work. Do you have questions? Are we okay? Okay. Uh, what are you hobby, teacher? Okay, my hobbies uh, I do sports. I try to take some walks. I like to walk, to go to the mountain. I love to go to the volcano. I love that. And uh yes, basically to do exercise. Yes, that is do my do you like uh, mountain bike? Oh no, the bike? No, I can't. I I broke I broke my arm. That's yeah. why I can't. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And what about you guys? What are your hobbies? In, in my case, I love you. Practice you love mountain me. bike. <laughs> I, practice a mountain bike all day in the morning. Oh, the bike with the bike. Yeah. See, mountain bike. Uh, oh. Cross country, cross country. Oh, uh, really? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. all day I practice the bicentennial park. Oh, yes. At, at to uh, Echo Park. Mm -hmm. um, and I think 10 kilometers. 10, oh, but that's a lot, yeah. right? Road trip, from trip. Ah, oh, that, but that's a lot, right? And at the Bicentenario, yes, it, it, it's very big, right? Yes. Oh, but that's great, that's great. Is there any other hobby you practice? Any other hobby? Uh, uh, Alberto, what about my you? hobby is practice, is practice soccer with my friends in the Chalatenango. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's good. You do stay keep fit, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so we are okay. So give me just one minute and then we're, we're going to present that information in the class, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. thank you. Good job.
Okay, guys, hope you are okay and that you finished uh, with the activity. We're going to start with Ellen Nilsson and Glenda. Can you share your information, guys, please? Hi, Miss. Yes. How are you? My partner, my partner is Ellen Nilsson. Mm -hmm. La primera pregunta, how are you? Mm -hmm. My partner says 30 mm -hmm. years old. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? He from Aguachapán. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, he from. Uh, what do you do? He's, he is assistant operation. Okay. What are your hobby? Your hobby. Su hobby sería. His, right? Su hobby. Mm -hmm. His hobbies. Mm -hmm. His hobby is listening music. Okay. Sí. Okay. Are you carefree or nervous? He is carefree. Carefree. He is carefree, okay. He's carefree. Uh, are you say or? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Outgoing. Mm -hmm. Outgoing. He is outgoing. He is outgoing, okay. Uh -huh. um, are you a traveler or a homebody? Mm -hmm. No, he is not homebody. He is not a homebody person, okay. Uh, are you on athletic or a uh, not athletic? Mm -hmm. My partner not is athletic. He is not an athlete, no. right? No. <laughs> he doesn't like to do sports. Okay. Okay. Tell me more about Glenda Nilsson, please. Tell me more about her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where, where are you from? Mm -hmm. What did you do? She assisted a person. Mm -hmm. What are uh, you hobby? She was a uh, Okay. Uh, are you... Carefree? Carefree? Mm -hmm. Carefree or nervous? She is nervous. Okay. Are you she or going, going. outgoing? Mm -hmm. uh, I think the the yes, there there must be a problem. Hello, Ellen Nilsson. Okay, there there is a problem because I can't hear you. Hello. No, it is not working. Okay, Ellen Nilsson. Okay, we got the information. Okay, no problem. Thank you, Ellen Nilsson. Hi. Okay, there you are. There you are. Eh, me prestaron. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. eh, está en la tercera. Uh, yes, personality questions. Okay. Are you travel or a home? Home boy. ¿Cómo sería? Homebody. Uh -huh. Homebody. No, she is not homebody. Are you an athletic or um, not let? No, yes, she is. Oh, she is an athlete person. Okay, you know, a person that likes to do sports. Okay, thank you, uh, Edwin Nilsson. Glenda, please choose a person from your classmate, please. Choose a person. Escojamos una persona. Choose a person from your classmates. Ah, oh. Janira. Okay, Janira, please. Janira and uh, partner. Eh, the Nilsson, right? Okay, let's present, Hi. guys. Uh, hola. How old are you? Ede. Hola. Hola. How old are you? How old are you? I am 48 years old. Where are you? Ah, no, yo tengo que decir, vea. Yo tengo que ir diciendo. Sí, es que usted va como a decir. Ah, va. Sí, sí, sí. How old are you? Eh, 
he's he say uh, 48 years old. Where are you from? He's from San Salvador. What do you do? He's work for Dacotrans. Uh, what are your hobbies? His hobby are go to the gym. Yes. Um, Te no se note. Uh, personality questions. Um, are you carefree or nervous? He's carefree. Are you shy or out, outgoing? He's uh, outgoing. Are you a traveler or a homebody? He's at homebody. Mm -hmm. Are you an athlete, athlete or a non-athlete? He's non-athlete. Okay. Perfect. Teacher, ¿es, ¿es correcto decirlo así como repetir cada palabra o solo oh, contarles como just la historia? The, just the answers are okay. Okay, so las respuestas está bien. Just the answers. Okay. okay. Uh, about Janira, how old she is? Uh, she is uh, 55 years old. Mm -hmm. She is from Ilopango. Mm -hmm. uh, she worked for Daco Transit in Operations Department. Mm -hmm. And her hobbies are watch TV and care, care her dogs. About personality questions, she is carefree, mm -hmm. outgoing, she is homebody, mm -hmm. and she is a non athlete. She's a non-athlete, really, Janira? You don't like to do sports? Yes, no. Oh, wow, no, wow. And then Nilsson does a lot of exercise. You are the opposite, right? <laughs> okay, thank you, Janira and Ellen Nilsson. I don't know if somebody wants to do it. You can take, uh, I can take some uh, for you to practice. No sé si alguien más quisiera yeah. hacerlo. Uh -huh. Vania. Oh, Ivania. Okay, Janira chooses Ivania. Okay, let's listen, Ivania. <laughs> okay, thank you, Janira. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go. Voluntariamente, right? <laughs> Volunteer. <laughs> My partner is Sami. Sami, okay. He's 31 years old. Mm -hmm. He's from El Salvador. Mm -hmm. He's operational worker. Mm -hmm. His favorite his favorite hobby is rugby game. He is not carefree or nervous. Mm -hmm. He is outgoing. Okay. He is traveler mm -hmm. and is athlete. He is an athlete. Okay, that's awesome, right? To do sports. What about you, Ivania? What can you tell me about? Or oh, Samuel, sorry. Can okay. you tell me more about Ivania, please? Okay. Uh, she she is three four years old. Very two, very two, and she is very two. Uh, Don't uh, have more, old. please. <laughs> she is from El Salvador. Mm -hmm. She is um, say share. Ben, vendedora como es? Share. Seller, seller. seller. Mm -hmm. uh, his hobby are um, her hobbies. Game. Okay, her hobbies. And and as the and as the are you curious or nervous? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Puso okay. neither. Mm -hmm. Neither. Uh, neither. 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 Yes. Depend of the case. Depending of the case, okay. Uh, she is uh, she is in old outgoing. Mm -hmm. Outgoing. She is a uh, she is bold. And she is no athlete. She is not athlete, really, Vanya. Why? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't like sports, okay? That's great. Oh, so. 
Okay, that's good. Okay, uh, Ivania, uh, Samuel's information, they said neither, right? That's a very good word. Neither, cuando digamos ninguno, right? Ninguno, ninguna. En el caso que usted no sea carefree or nervous or any of the options you have, neither. Okay, so let's uh, go to some topics. Thank you so much for participating because of the time nobody, most of you are not going to present. But if you want to do it, I can give you some time later. Okay, so we have clothes, right? Clothes for work. What clothes uh, do you wear at, at your work, eh, Gustavo? What clothes can you wear at home? I'm sorry, at work, Gustavo. In the shirt, mm -hmm. I use um, belt. Okay, belt. Mm -hmm. Pants. Mm -hmm. And shoes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Just that. Okay, that's it. Okay, what about... Uh, you, uh, Alberto, what do you wear or what clothes do you wear at work? Um, my clothes for the work is I, <laughs> a shirt and mm -hmm. pants and shoes for the office. Mm -hmm. And jacket. Sometimes a jacket, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, or a coat. Okay, very good. What about uh, you, Guadalupe? What do you wear when you are working? What clothes do you wear? A uh, blouse. Okay, a blouse. Mm -hmm. A skirt. Oh, a skirt. Muy bien. Skirt. What uh, about dress. high heels? High heels? Uh -huh. High heels. Uh -huh. A dress. A dress. A coat. Oh, yes, a coat. Mm -hmm. a coat. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. it. That's it. That's it. Okay. What about uh, you, Gabriela? What do you wear when you are working? Mm, I wear a uh, blouse. Mm -hmm. um, high heels. Okay, high heels. Um, hey, jeans, too. Okay, jeans, okay. Yes, and I wear a scarf and t-shirt, too. And uh, a t-shirt, right? Okay, that's, yes. that's great, right? It's a sweater. And a sweater. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good, right? It is more comfortable, right? Yes. <laughs> what about uh, you, Lorena? What do you wear when you are working? What do you wear when you are working? Hello, Lorena? Hello. Mm -hmm. What do you wear? ¿Qué es lo que usamos when you are working? Blouse. Okay, a blouse. Mm -hmm. uh, skirt. Okay. Dress. A dress. Mm -hmm. oh. Jacket. A jacket, right? Mm. High heels, what Pants. about? Pants. And a hat when it is cold, right? Depending on the weather. Okay, so those are some of the clothes, right, that we use for, for example, for work and for free time. We have a hat, we have the scarf, and uh, we have gloves, the sweater. Uh, we have to the t-shirt, the shorts, the boots, socks, the sneakers, the swimsuit, for example, when the weather is summer. We have the high heels too, in the case of the work, dress or raincoat and pants. If you are in your free day, Jorge, for example, what do you wear when you are in your free day or on weekends? What do you wear? ¿Qué es lo que usamos when you are in your weekends, for example, or in your free day? In free, free day, mm -hmm. usually shorts. 
eh, cheers, uh -huh. uh, the cheers, uh -huh. tennis, uh, cap. Oh, yeah, cap. And yeah, comfortable work, uh, clothes, right? Okay, thank you, Jorge. Okay, guys, let's continue. That is the vocabulary. We have then the, the colors. We have the white, light gray, gray, dark gray, beige, uh, light brown, brown, dark brown, and black. And uh, what are your favorite colors, eh, Carlos? What are your favorite colors? Or what is your favorite color? My favorite color is dark, dark green and blue. Green blue. and blue. Dark, Why dark, do you like green? Uh, dark green. Mm -hmm. Dark green. Mm -hmm. Green and dark green too. Okay, very good. Uh, what about uh, you, Jose? What are your favorite colors? Hello. Mm -hmm. yeah, what? My favorite color is uh, green, mm -hmm. uh, red, mm -hmm. mm, yellow. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have three, right? Three colors. Okay, thank you, Jose. Okay. Okay, what is the, the, the position, right, of the colors? We can say the suit is black and uh, the socks are dark blue, right? Usualmente a veces decimos the socks are color blue. No, we cannot add color because we don't use it, right? We just say oh, the, the cell phone is black, just the color, okay? So describe something that is around you. Describamos algo que esté alrededor nuestro. Okay, for example, my cell phone is pink. What about a you, Samuel? ¿Qué objeto tenemos? Describe it, please, using the colors. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, I said my cell phone, cell phone is pink. ¿Qué, qué objeto tengamos a su alrededor? My wall. Oh, coffee. Your wallet? Coffee. Is? Que ve café. Brown? Yes, my wallet is, my wallet is brown. It's brown, right? Okay, there it is. What about uh, you, Glenda? What do you have uh, around you? Uh, my pencil is blue. Yes, your pencil is blue. Okay, what about uh, you, Ruth? What do you have? Mm -hmm. Hello, uh, Ruth. My phone. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, is uh, white. Blanco. White. White. Yes. My what? I'm sorry. My phone. Oh, my phone is. My phone. Do be white. Is white. Okay. Is Very white. Good. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Solo recordemos que cuando es singular, right? Vamos a utilizar is, en el caso que sea una palabra en plural, no nos olvidemos de que tiene que ver concordancia with the, with the subject, right? So, en el caso que sea plural, are. Okay, very important that. Okay, basically that is the colors and the objects. So, let's move on to this section. Vamos a ver the pronunciation, right? Un poco de pronunciation. Tenemos la suit, right? Tenemos la palabra shirt. Usualmente cuando tengamos SH, vamos a pronunciarlo sh de esa forma. No con el sonido de la, de la CH. It's totally different. For example, suit, socks, scarf. Tenemos la siguiente. Shirt, shorts, and shoes. No tenemos que decir choose, porque si decimos choose, estamos utilizando un verbo, así que por eso tenemos que tener cuidado with the pronunciation. Okay, can you help me reading, please? Eh, Edenilson, number one. This sentence, please. 
This is Sandra's new shirt. Okay, continue number two, Edenilson. These are Sam's purple shoes. Excellent, Edenilson, thank you. Can you help me, uh, Alberto, please, number three. Where are my shoes and socks? Perfect, continue. My shorts and t-shirts are blue. Perfect, thank you. Josue, please, number one. Is this is Sandra's new new shirt? Shirt, 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 shirt. These these are Sam's purple shoes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Josué. Okay, guys, just don't forget, uh, for example, para hacer la diferencia entre this and these, right? Para que se escuche la diferencia en el plural. Este lo vamos a pronunciar con el sonido de la s. This. Y la otra cuando es en plural is going to Hasta be. rato se me desconecta la cámara. This. Ok. Mm. Ok, so let's continue. I don't know if you have questions. No sé si tengamos dudas. Questions about the pronunciation of SH o and S. You repeat again the pronunciation scarf. Ok, scarf, right. Scarf. scarf. Ok, a veces se nos va el sonido de la E, pero Hola, en teacher. inglés solo es el scarf, right? Solo el sonido de la S, scarf. Hola, teacher. Hola, yes. Sí, sí, podría pronunciar nuevamente las seis palabras para que nos quede más grabado. Ok, it is suit, socks, scarf, shirt, shorts, shoes. Ok. Okay, perfect. So, okay, so uh, that is just take care with the pronunciation, right? Sometimes we can get confused with the words. Okay, so let's uh, finish. Vamos a terminar con este tema. And uh, this topic is very interesting. Estos son los posesivos, right? Vamos a ver el posesivo de adjective, el posesivo en pronouns and names. In the case of possessive adjectives, que son my, your, his, her, our, and their, siempre van a ir acompañados de una palabra. For example, my shoes, mis zapatos. En el caso de your, your shoes, tus zapatos, tu teléfono, tu casa. En el caso de his, cuando utilizamos his o con qué sujeto utilizamos his, o de quién es exactly exactly estamos hablando de él right thank you what about here cuando utilizamos here con qué sujeto yeah. exactly with she her shoes her cell phone her phone what about our cuando utilizamos our con qué sujeto nosotros exactly nosotros nosotras we right and they ¿Con qué sujeto? Con ellos. Con ellos. Their shoes. Ok, entonces cuando estemos utilizando, when we are using any of these ones, la, tiene que ir seguido de una palabra, right? Esa es la clave. That is the key. In the case of the pronouns, usualmente los pronouns, eh, si lo traducimos es cuando usted dice, este teléfono es de él. Estos libros son de ellos. Entonces, usually están al final o al principio de una oración. Vamos a ver unos ejemplos, vamos a hacer unos ejercicios y usted va a ver ahí the difference. Entonces, in the case of possessive pronouns, usualmente van a ir al final o al principio de una oración. In the case of names, vamos a utilizar el apóstrofe en el nombre más la de letter S para indicar posesión. Por ejemplo, la corbata de Jack. Eh, los zapatos de Taylor. El abrigo de Alex. Ok, no sé si hay dudas about the possessives right now. We have three, right? Hemos visto tres, right? In adjectives, in pronouns, and names. Uh -huh. Questions? En una oración nunca se puede combinar un objetivo con un pronombre. 
Perdón, Carlos, no, no, le, no le entendí bien la, la, la pregunta. Sí, en una oración nunca se puede combinar un adjetivo con un pronoun, ¿verdad? O, o es uno o es el otro. Ah, oh, yes, exactly, exactly, exactamente. Exacto, dependiendo de lo que, lo que queramos decir, right? Y, y puedo entenderlo como que los adjetivos, o sea, como que los que pasado son calificativos. Y los pronombres como cuando quiero hablar de alguien, o, sea, o, o de mí, uh -huh. pero, pero algo yeah. mío o alguien que me, me quiero referir a un tercero. Ok, si le entendí bien, era, se refiere a los adjetivos refiriéndonos a los sujetos. No sé si le entendí Ajá, bien la pero pregunta. Que los uh -huh. adjetivos, yo los veo como calificativos de personas o cosas. Y los uh -huh. pronombres son cuando yo me quiero referir, pero a algo mío o de un tercero. Los pronombres son como los sujetos, right? Los que conocemos con los subject pronouns de I, you, we, y they, ¿verdad? Ok, basically esos serían los pronouns, que también los utilizamos así como usted dijo, para identificarlos con los posesivos también. Ok, uh, questions guys about uh, the, the possessives. One question, uh, uh -huh. the difference is the pronunciation is in the Finnish. Ok, in this case, What we have been saying, right? Lo que hemos estado diciendo, what we have been saying. For example, most of the words that end with K, we're going to pronounce it with S, right? Jacks. Uh -huh. Pero digamos, en el, entre el adjetivo y el pronombre, el by my es my, mine, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Your, yours, así con yours. Final, yours. Oh, I'm sorry. Mine, uh -huh. yours, his, hers, ours, and theirs. Solo el is al final es la diferencia. Yes. In, okay. En la escritura también, pero por, por ejemplo, ese es mine, tenemos el sonido de la N. En cambio, ese solo es mine, right? Tenemos yours, y así como usted dijo, eh, Alberto, es el sonido de la S, right? Si se fija el his, es igual, no cambia. Tenemos el hers igual, que solo le agregamos S, en the other two. Uh -huh. Ok, uh, what about, tenemos whose, de quién, whose tie is this, de quién es esta corbata. Take care with the, the word que tengamos, tengamos cuidado. En caso de it is singular, whose tie is this, it's Greg's, es de Greg. En caso que sea plural, whose shoes are these, de quién son estos zapatos, they are or they are tailors. Ok, there it is. Miss. Uh -huh. Yes, Ivania. Eh, ¿Cuál es la, la pronunciación del último adjetivo? The pronunciation of the last adjective. Oh, you mean this one, their? Their. Their and theirs. Uh -huh. Ok, uh -huh. gracias. Sí, porque pensé que era como their, pero their es allí. Oh, their, ajá, uh -huh. exactly, their. Ok, uh -huh. thank you. Okay. Okay. Any other question, guys? No questions. Okay. We're going to practice with some exercise, right? Okay. So you're going to help me with this. Can you help me with the first one, Gustavo? Can you read the 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 exercise and help me? Okay. Complete the conversation with the correct word in parentheses, then practice with a partner. Uh, the A, mm -hmm. number one. This isn't my raincoat. Mm -hmm. What is, is the it, word? Mm -hmm. Is it your? ¿Qué podemos utilizar? Is it your or yours? What can we use, guys? Yours. Yes, right? It's going to be yours. It's going to be yours. Okay, what about letter B? Can you help me, Ellen Nilsson, please? Yeah. 
letter B, it's not. What are we going to use? Vamos a utilizar my o mine. Mine. Mm -hmm. Yes, vamos a utilizar, mine. we are going to use my, right? Ask. Mm -hmm. They ask Emma, maybe it's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you going to use? It's hairs, right? Es de ella. What about number two? Hey, these aren't. Sería our or ours? Ours. Ours. Yo aquí veo sneakers. I see here. Ours. Ours. Sería our or ours? Or. Our. Our. Yes, right. Sería our. Our. En sneaker lleva S. Yes, right. Usualmente sí, this one, our este, ours, no va acompañado de palabras, es de, de, no, de key. No. You're right, sería our or ours. Our. Yes, right. Los our, nuestros our, están our, our, ahí. Our. Yeah. What about number three? Are these your or yours? Yours. Yours. Yo veo gloves. Yes. I see your, your, yeah. your, 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 your. Exactly. Take care with the word. Mm. No, they are not. Sería my or mine. No, they are not. My, maybe. Mine. Mine, mine right? Mine. Yes. Mine. Maybe, maybe they are Logan's. Mine. So, yes. this or you. your gloves? Your gloves. Mm -hmm. Maybe they are. So yeah, his or your. Maybe they are Logan's. Mm -hmm. uh, Estamos hablando de Logan's, right? Yes. His, 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 right? His, 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 his yes. gloves are very. What about this one? Whose or yours? Your chips or yours? Whose? Whose? Whose, right? Whose t-shirts are these? these? Are they Haley's and Brad's? Yeah. No, they are no, they are their not. or theirs. No, they are not. They are. They are. Yes, they're. right. They're. Porque tenemos la palabra t-shirts, right? T-shirts. Tenemos la siguiente. They are or theirs? Theirs. Yes, right. Okay, there you have. Uh, you see, with practice, we can uh, have some doubts. Okay, do you have questions about the exercise? In el segundo, en el B, me puede explicar por qué hours. Second B. Oh, okay, <laughs> hours. Uh, if you notice, there is no word after here, right? No hay ninguna palabra aquí. Usually, los these ones van seguidos de una palabra. Pero acá tenemos un verbo. Here we have a verb. Mm -hmm. So we can say los nuestros están ahí. Okay, that's why. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there it is. That's some of the sentences. Now it's time for you to practice. And that you are going to complete these sentences, right? Vamos a crear, you are going to create sentences. We have the, the example, my desk is brown, Celia's book bag is purple. Estamos utilizando el posesivo de adjetivo, estamos utilizando el posesivo de noun. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? You are going to create eight sentences. Usando los adjectives, tres oraciones, Los pronouns, three sentences, y dos ejemplos utilizando as a nouns. Okay, let's do it now. We still have time. And uh, let me know if you have questions, okay? Write them down if you want. And uh, then you share with me. Okay, let's comparto la, otra, la imagen for you to have it. Right, serían tres examples, right, de cada uno. Tres de adjectives, three de pronouns, and three names.
Okay, do you have the first one, Josue? Do you have the first one as an adjective? Tenemos el primer ejemplo, Josué, the first one. No yet? Okay. Hola, mm, eh, no. Todavía no. no. Okay, no. what about you, eh, Nilsson? Do you have the first example? No yet, teacher. No yet, okay. Teacher, I am... Um... I, I I have an example. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Um, my highlighter is yellow. Is yellow, yes. Perfect, right? Perfect, okay. What about pronouns? Do you have any example using pronouns, Gabriela? Not yet, or you are working on that. What about a you, Gustavo? Do you have an example as a pronoun? It's a pronoun. Uh, your shirts are white. Okay, as pronoun, this one, my. Ah, yours. my. Mm -hmm. My. I might. Mm -hmm. uh, my. My shirt uh, is white. In that case, it is my shirt, right? My Mine. shirt. Okay, oh, vamos a ver este ejercicio. That is sentence. My shirt is white. En el caso que utilicemos prona, puede ser yours is George. white. La tuya es blanca, right? Okay. Your shirts are white. Yes, yours is white. Right? Refiriéndonos a la camisa, right? Yours. Yours. Okay. Queremos usar por ejemplo, my, my shirt is, is white. Uh -huh. Is that, oh, I'm sorry, Carlos. My. My. Uh -huh. La mía, my. Is white. Is white. Here's Jean is blue. Is uh, jeans, okay, her jeans. Her jeans are blue, right? Blue. Mm -hmm. Her hair is black, teacher. I'm sorry? Her hair is black. Yes, her hair is black, right? The, our class is funny. <laughs> our class is funny, right? Our class is funny. What about as a pronoun, right? Una oración utilizando los pronouns. Mm -hmm. That glass is her? Yes, that glass is hers, right? It's the vaso, mm -hmm. is the ella. This glass is hers. Again. The computer is yours. Oh, perfect. That computer, that computer is yours, right? And uh, another one, muy bien, that was very good. Excuse me, uh, the glass is hers or are? The glass, uh -huh. that glass, el vaso, that glass. All dentes? Oh, glasses. Glasses, uh -huh. Okay, uh, no, no problem. The glasses, glasses are hers. Same, are. Perfect, yes, there you have, the glasses are hers. Oh, sorry guys, sorry. Uh, you can work that, and uh, if you want to share them in the WhatsApp group, you can do it, so we can check it. Uh, see you next you sure? week, yeah. And the second, uh, your, yours is white, no, no sería yours are white. Nos estamos refiriendo to just one object, la, la tuya, right? Yours. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. O el tuyo. Mm -hmm. In English, no hay como una especificación de femenino o masculino, right? We simply say that it is something we are talking. Okay, guys, I don't want to take too much time, so I hope to see you next week. Have a good day, guys. Thank you so much. And have a great nice weekend. weekend. Yeah. Thank you.
Bye bye, bye. guys. Thank you, teacher. Hi, Hello. see you. Bye, Katrina. See you. See you. Bye. Bye. Ano, the other... Next week. Next week. <laughs> Next week. Bye bye.